Dear students, now we are going to solve important problems in Thevenin's theorem. The first problem, to draw the Thevenin's equivalent circuit for the given circuit. So this is the given circuit. For this we are going to draw the Thevenin's equivalent circuit. Thevenin's equivalent circuit is nothing but a Thevenin's voltage in series with Thevenin's equivalent resistance. So this is known as Thevenin's equivalent circuit. So we are going to find out the Thevenin's voltage and Thevenin's equivalent resistance. Okay. So in the solution part, the first step is to find out the Thevenin's equivalent resistance. So the condition for Thevenin's resistance to short circuit the voltage source and open circuit the current source in the given network. So in this problem, they have given us only the voltage source. So we are going to short circuit that voltage source. So here we can have the diagram like this. Okay. So here the voltage source is short circuited and we can keep the remaining resistance values as such. So now we are going to find out the Thevenin's equivalent resistance for this circuit. Okay. So here we can simplify the resistance values step by step. So the first one, the 7 ohm and 6 ohm, these two are in parallel and then series with this 5 ohm. So first we can take these two resistance values as we all know. So both the ends are connected, then it is called as parallel connection. So here 7 ohm and 6 ohm both are in parallel. So 7 in parallel with 6 ohm that is equal to 7 into 6 by 7 plus 6. That is the parallel formula. Okay. So 42 divided by 13 that is equal to 3.23 ohm. Then this parallel combination can be drawn like this. 3.23 ohm in series with 5 ohm and the remaining resistance values as such. So for further simplification we can simplify these two resistance which are in series. Simply we are going to add these two values. So 3.23 plus 5 is nothing but 8.23 that is in parallel with this 5 ohm resistance and then 10 ohm resistance. So now we are going to consider these two resistance values are in parallel. So here we can take 8.23 in parallel with this 5 ohm resistor. Then we can get the answer as 3.11 ohm. Do you all understand this one? So that 3.11 ohm is in series with this 10 ohm resistor. Okay. So then this two can be added to get the equivalent Thevenin's resistance, we can get the answer as 13.11 ohm. Do you all understand this step? Next, to find the Thevenin's voltage. So for that, we can consider the given circuit as such. There is no load resistor given. Okay, so we can take the given circuit as such and we are going to find out the Thevenin's voltage across this open circuit. So here we can consider this is the open circuit. We are going to find out the Thevenin's voltage across this open circuit terminals. Do you all understand this one? So here we can consider this Thevenin's voltage is nothing but the voltage drop across this 5 ohm resistance. So here this Thevenin's voltage across this open circuit is nothing but the voltage drop across this 5 ohm resistor. So here for that voltage drop we need to find out the current flowing through this 5 ohm. So the current flowing through this resistance is I2. So we need to find out the value of this I2. Okay. So for that we can use Kirchhoff's voltage law. So what is Kirchhoff's voltage law? The sum of voltage rise is equal to the sum of voltage drops in the closed loop. So here we can have two closed loops. So we can consider loop 1 with the current I1. The second loop is loop 2 with current I2. So now we are going to apply KVL to this loop 1 and loop 2. So for this loop 1, the voltage rise is the voltage source. 
there are voltage drops across this 7 ohm 6 ohm due to i1 and also due to i2 for this 6 ohm so we can write the kvl for this first loop as the sum of voltage drops 7 into i1 plus 6 into i1 for this i2 it is in the opposite direction then we can put minus sign so here minus 6 into i2 is equal to the voltage rises 25 so next we can simplify this one so 7 plus 6 it is 13 i1 minus 6 i2 is equal to 25 consider that is the first equation so next we are going to apply kvl to this second loop so here we can start from here 5 into i2 plus 5 into i2 plus 6 into i2 there is one more voltage drop due to i1 for the 6 ohm resistance in the opposite direction so we can write minus 6 i1 there is no voltage rise so we can put that value as 0 do you all understand this point so here we can get for this second loop the kvl value is 5 i2 plus 5 i2 plus 6 i2 minus 6 i1 is equal to 0 so we can add all this i2 values together consider this as the second equation do you all understand this one so after getting these two equations we are going to find out the value of this i2 okay so now we are going to solve these two equations to get this i2 value so here this i1 can be cancelled by multiplying the alternate values of each equation so the first equation is multiplied with the value 6 we can get 13 into 6 78 i1 minus 6 into 6 36 i2 is equal to 25 into 6 150 for the second equation we are going to multiply with the value 13 so minus 6 into 13 minus 78 i1 plus 16 into 13 208 i2 is equal to 0 so now we are going to simply add these two equations then this i1 can be cancelled can get 172 i2 is equal to 150 from this we can calculate the value of i2 so i2 is equal to what 150 divided by 172 the answer is 0 0.872 ampere do you all understand this concept so in order to find out the thevenin's voltage we need to get the voltage across 5 ohm okay in the given circuit so here vth is equal to 5 ohm multiplied with the current i2 that is 0 0.872 then we can get 7 inch voltage as 4.36 volt. So this is the 7 inch voltage value. So next we are going to draw the 7 inch equivalent circuit. Here 7 inch voltage is 4.36 volt in series with 7 inch resistance 13.11 ohm. So this is the answer. Do you all understand this one? The next problem determine. The current through the 2 ohm resistor in the given circuit using Thevenin's theorem. So this is the given circuit here. Two voltage sources are given with three resistance values. So now we are going to find out the current through the 2 ohm resistor using Thevenin's theorem. So current through this 2 ohm resistor means what? So here we can consider this as the load resistor. Do you all understand this point? So in the solution part, first step, we are going to assume the 2 ohm resistor is the load resistor. Okay, so here we are going to find out the Thevenin's equivalent circuit with this load resistor 2 ohm. And then we can find out the current through this load resistor. Do you all understand this one? So this is the given circuit. For this given circuit, we are going to find out the current through this 2 ohm resistor using Thevenin circuit. Okay, so here we can use the formula IL is equal to VTH by RTH plus RL. Okay, so the first step 
we are going to find out the thevenance or resistance or the equivalent resistance. So here can remove this 2 ohm resistor and short circuit the voltage source. So what is the condition for this thevenance equivalent resistance? Short circuit the voltage source and open circuit the current source in the given circuit. So in the given circuit the voltage source alone is given. So at this input side as well as in the output side. So we circuit both the sides and remove this low resistor. Then we can get these two resistors in parallel. So one ohm in parallel with this another one ohm. Then the formula is 1 into 1 by 1 plus 1. Then the thevenance resistance value is 0 0.5 ohm. You all understand this one. Next we are going to find out the thevenance voltage. So for that we can consider the given circuit as in the problem. So but here we have to remove the low resistor. Consider that point as an open circuit. So we are going to find out the thevenance voltage across this open circuit. That means this 12 volt minus the voltage drop across this 1 ohm that is the thevenance voltage. So for that we need to get the voltage drop across this 1 ohm resistor. So here voltage drop is the product of current and the resistance value. So here we need to find out the value of this current. Okay, so for that we are going to use Kirchhoff's voltage law. So here we can consider the whole loop as a closed loop. Okay, so we can start from here and go to this 1 ohm and this 1 ohm and this 6 volt and come to this point. So we can consider this as a single closed loop. So we are going to apply Kirchhoff's voltage law. So what is Kirchhoff's voltage law? The sum of voltage rises is equal to so the sum of voltage drops in the closed loop. So here we can consider the voltage sources that is here it is plus 12 volt. In this direction plus to minus we can take minus 6. So this is the sum of voltage arise in this loop 12 minus 6 that is equal to sum of voltage drops. So that the current is I. So 1 into I plus 1 into I. We can get 2 into I. Then I is equal to what? 6 by 2. That value is 3 amperes. Okay. So next the voltage drop across this 1 ohm resistor as 1 into 3, 3 volt. Then the thevenance voltage is equal to V minus V1. That is the total voltage in the given circuit 12 volt minus 3 volt. That answer is 9 volt. So after calculating the thevenance voltage and thevenance resistance, we are going to draw the thevenance equivalent circuit. So here thevenance equivalent circuit is nothing but the voltage source in series with the thevenance equivalent resistance. So here VTH is equal to 9 volt. RTH is equal to 0.5 ohm. And the low resistance is 2 ohm. Okay. So this is the thevenance equivalent circuit. So next we are going to find out the load current. IL is equal to VTH divided by the total resistance in the given circuit. So RL plus RTH. So 9 divided by 2 plus 0.5. Then the answer is 3.6 ampere. Do you all understand this one?